Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we have another very very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to evaluate expression x minus y over x whole power 40 plus x minus y over y whole power 40 if x square plus y square plus xy equal to 0. Given that x cannot be 0, y cannot be 0, x cannot be equal to y. So let's get started by considering this is our required expression E and we will write our quadratic equation first x square plus y square plus xy equal to 0. Now I will subtract 3xy from both the sides minus 3xy minus 3xy. So we can write LHS x square plus y square minus 2xy and in RHS we'll have minus 3xy. Now from left hand side we have one algebraic formula x minus y whole square equal to minus 3 times xy. Now we will consider this is our equation number 1 and we will use while calculating expression. Now I will focus on numerator only as we have x minus y whole square hidden. So let me write expression E equal to here it is but I will split numerator and denominator with exponent. So I will write x minus y whole power 40 over x power 40 plus x minus y whole power 40 over y power 40. As we know a over b whole power c can be written as a power c over b power c. Now I will rewrite our numerator brackets as x minus y power is 40 which we will split whole a square and then we will consider whole power 20. Denominator is x power 40 plus x minus y whole a square and then we will put whole power 20. Denominator is y power 40. Because we know a power bc is equal to a power b whole power c. So we can split our exponents. Now in place of x minus y whole square, we will use our equation 1 equal to minus 3xy. So we will write our expression e equal to minus 3xy whole power 20 over x power 40 plus minus 3xy whole power 20 over y power 40. Now we will use exponent law a b c whole power n this is equal to a power n times b power n times c power n. So we will write our numerator minus 3 raised to the power 20 times x power 20 times y power 20 over x power 40. Let me write here e equal to minus 3 raised to the power 20 times x power 20 times y power 20 over x power 40 plus minus 3 raised to the power 20 times x power 20 times y power 20 over y power 40. Now we will take minus 3 raised to the power 20 common out. So we will write here minus 3 raised to the power 20. So in the bracket we will have x power 20 times y power 20 over x power 40 
plus x power 20 times y power 20 over y power 40. Now we know that minus 3 raised to the power e1, we can write minus 1 raised to the power 20 times 3 raised to the power 20. Here we will write y power 20 and in the denominator x power 20 plus we will write x power 20 over y power 20. Now minus 1 raised to e1 power we will be writing 1. So only 3 raised to the power 20 will be there. In the bracket we will be writing y over x whole power 20 plus x over y whole power 20. This is our required expression E so far. Now we are going to consider y over x equal to alpha and x over y equal to beta. Let me write here E equal to 3 power 20 in the bracket y over x whole power 20 plus x over y whole power 20. Let's assume y over x alpha, x over y beta. So I can write immediately the expression required in terms of alpha and beta, 3 power 20 in the bracket, alpha power 20 plus beta power 20 is our required expression. Let's calculate alpha times beta. So alpha times beta is y over x times x over y value will be 1. Alpha plus beta y over x plus x over y. We will take LCM. We will be writing y square plus x square over xy. Now from the given equation, if I will write x square plus y square plus xy, this was equal to 0. So from this equation, I can write x square plus y square value minus xy, which we will put over here, minus xy over xy. So alpha plus beta would be negative 1. This is minus 1. So alpha times beta is 1, alpha plus beta is minus 1 and required expression is 3 power 20 times alpha power 20 plus beta power 20. Let me write here alpha times beta is 1, alpha plus beta is negative 1 and required expression is 3 power 20 in the bracket alpha power 20 plus beta power 20. Now we can think about one quadratic equation in variable t. So t square whose roots are alpha and beta. Then here we have product of roots and this equation is for sum of roots. So we can use Vita's method and write quadratic equation t square minus sum of roots times t plus product of roots equal to 0. Let's put the values t square minus alpha plus beta is minus 1. So we can write plus sign here t plus alpha beta 1 equal to 0. Now we will check this quadratic equation at t equal to 1. Will it satisfy our equation 1 plus 1 plus 1? Is this equal to 0? No, it is not. 3 cannot be 0. So we can conclude from here t cannot be equal to 1. So we can multiply both sides by t minus 1. Let's multiply. So it, LHS will be writing t minus 1 times t square plus t plus 1. And in RHS we will write 0 times t minus 1. So from LHS we can write this is t cube minus 1 cube. RHS is 0. Now we will write 
t cube equal to 1 cube or we will write 1. Now we can apply t equal to alpha, t equal to beta, but one thing is very clear, t cannot be 1. Let's put t equal to alpha. So I will write t equal to alpha, alpha cube equal to 1 and t equal to beta will get equation beta cube equal to 1. Now let us write our required expression E which was equal to 3 power 20 in the bracket alpha power 20 plus beta power 20. Now we will write expression E equal to 3 power 20. Alpha power 20. Can we write alpha power 18 times alpha square plus beta power 20 beta power 18 times beta square? Now we will write equal to 3 power 20 alpha power 18. This is equal to alpha cube whole power 6 times alpha square plus beta power 18 is beta cube whole power 6 times we have beta square. Now alpha cube is 1, beta cube is also 1. So we will write 3 power 20 in the bracket 1 power 6 times alpha square plus 1 power 6 times beta square. Or we can write 3 power 20 in the bracket alpha square plus beta square. Now we will be using one algebraic formula a square plus b square is a plus b whole square minus 2ab. So here we can write alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta. Now we know that alpha plus beta is minus 1, alpha beta is 1. So we will be writing 3 power 20 in the bracket minus 1 whole square minus 2 times alpha beta is 1. So we will be getting 3 power 20 in the bracket 1 minus 2 which will give us minus 1. So our final answer becomes minus 3 raised to the power 20. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.